That was very, very quick. I was literally just running down here when I noticed my bracelet's glowing. Of course, it's got to be this wall. It's these two statues, see? I hadn't, I hadn't noticed earlier. Sorry about that. That's creepy. Hmm. Arguably worse. Oh, that's my own shadow. Okay. This looks like a body count. 98, 99, 100. Okay. It's got to be through here then, surely. No, this is somewhere I w where I've been. No, it isn't. Oh, there's another one in here. That made me jump. I'm doing some mad tricks, yo. There we go, line them both up. Oh! Got him. You'll never be Mr. Christmas! <laughs> Mr. Christmas? Well, what at all. I, I got the, uh, I got the other key. Well, evidently this one is not suspicious. Although this one has the skull on it. That one just has XX, so if anything. There's only two X's, so don't take it too seriously. How you doing, pal? Yeah, yeah, unlock this door. Now, where is our big friend? Elsewhere. Yay! I know there's another keyhole. I've already used it, babe. Right, let's get on with this, because this is dragged. Dragged and dragged. Is this the right way or not? I forget. No, this, this must be the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way, because... Of course she chased me up there, and I'm just being an idiot. What's the right way out? It's this way. Wait. No, it's this way. Sorry about that. <laughs> Got a bit turned around. This place really is a maze. Right. Let's get this antique on the road show. I only played for a little bit as well today. Oh. Is that the Razor of Mehrun's Dagon? Ow! Oh, that's the wall. Hello, you. <laughs> now I can flashlight stun. I don't know why I can only use certain abilities at certain points. If I, unless I got turned around, I think this is the right way. Yes. Please don't be under the loop. I would hate to have to worry about that. Yeah, okay. This way. This is getting to me, dude. Oh, you mother! Smile. Ha! I don't know if I'd call that a backstab, but it was still cool. I really like the design of these ones.
Right. I think it's this way. I kind of lost my sense of direction there. I'm really confused about where I'm supposed to go. I mean, I'm guessing this is just a maze, but visibility is basically nil. Surely not. This way. I don't know if I'm missing a trick, but I don't want to stay still in here. What the fuck was that? Hello. Oh, it's one of you and you're invisible. How am I supposed to figure out where he is? I guess I'll just keep doing that. Okay, so you can see where I am. I guess I'm just going somewhere until a different type of ghost shows up. I have no idea. Oh, well not you. It feels like I'm supposed to be guessing which one I'm supposed to be going to. I don't get it. But, I guess we'll just keep going. These cases are always empty. Okay, so I've gone right and I've gone left. I don't think I've gone straight, unless I did go straight. I'll try right after this. Aha! Thank fuck for that, I was getting worried. <sighs> I don't know why I thought that was a really big bug. Why well, now I have the demon blade? What is it called? Lelmut Killer Chris. An ancient weapon found by Linda after being transported into an unknown dimension. A Lelmut Killer Cree was forged by the Elder Keepers of the Dark. It was an important it was an important weapon during the Mankind Serpent's Lelmut War. Lelmut War. Powerful yet sinister, this Chris is known for its ability to drain life. Unfortunately, this ability puts his build at risk of being tainted by Lelmut. Lelumbert's dark presence. Only a strong willed keeper can wield this fearsome weapon. Well, Linda, if there's one thing you have on your side, it's strong will. And surprise. And fear. No, make, okay, make that three things. And fanatical dedication to folklore. No, okay, make that four. That, that's a giant. What exactly do you expect me to do against that? Holy Jesus Christ. I'm just going to try and run past you, babe. Huge. Christ, this is cool. I can't go through there. Whoa. I don't know what happened there, if I was going somewhere or not, but... Okay, so stuns definitely don't work. How the fuck do I deal with you? I'm hitting it. Linda, if you pull this off... Okay, there. There is she-amp. I've 
now lost all sense of direction. Oh my god, that scared the shliznit out of me. Is this like, um... Storm... No, not, not Storm King. What's it called? What's the weapon? Storm Rule. Is this like Storm Rule? The way you shoot a giant blade arc at this thing. How do I avoid you? I'm running, like, constantly. I guess we just have to get lucky. And, well, and try and put some skin into it. This is pretty righteous, though, I have to say. I feel like Legolas or Aemir fighting the Moomer Kill at the Battle of Pelennor Fields. Itch! Foul demon! I shall flens the skin of your legs first. And then your tongue. And then your eyes. I'm sorry, I had to change for doing that really stupid voice because doing the previous one was making my throat really hurt. Do I have a power attack or something? No, it's still just left click. I got it. I killed it. Whoa, no I didn't! I didn't I wasn't really convinced for a minute there. Oh, I see what it's doing. So I've got to the next stage, so I am doing something, right? Did you just try and kick me, dude? This is giving me Metal Gear Ray vibes. Uh, there's no way I could get to hit him in time. Oh, fuck you. What was I supposed to do there, son? Surely I'm supposed to fight it. I'm really not sure. But I'll try again. Speed, speed us away. We're going nowhere fast. God, speed, going nowhere fast. Right. I guess I just need to focus my. I don't know. I'm trying to run away from that, but it's just not working. I just got to stay under it. Hack away now. Them ankles bend funny. But I can't knock it. My models look far worse. Although they are segmented so they don't get that bending. Because I'm a cheat. Well they kind of do. The torso does. Right, I think I got it. I guess I just run to it? And then just try and be cautious of its attacks? I don't know what else to say. I mean, when it does that, I, I can generally avoid it. But then it does that. Fuck. Okay, I think I get it. I think I was being too conservative. How did I lose it? Jesus. Okay, it's starting to get a bit bad now. Fuck you! If you kick me again, I'm going to be very cross. Where are you? Okay. i got to be i got to be nearly there. Fuck, every time I fall for it. Oh, that did hit me. Oh, mate, please don't kill me again. Yes. Oh, what? Bull fuck. At least that hit.
Yes! Aha! Okay, why is it not hitting anymore? Okay, I thought I'd try the flashlight thing, I don't know why. Now it's hitting again. Get it away because it's raising its. Yep. The Gendero, if I'm not mistaken. Is it getting bigger? Am I like, how I. I didn't even hit it that time, but I killed it. that way. Oh my, that was a fight. Wait, that wasn't the gender, right? Or was it? Yeah, it was. Was that there before? I don't think it was. Gendero is a dark primate-like creature covered in thick fur. It has a supernaturally large stature. Many believe that Gendero spawned from a human who experienced a natural death, suicide, or perhaps even improper burial. One can summon and make a pact with these creatures through specific offerings and rituals. The Gandasamit... I'm sorry. Gandas... Gandasasmita... The Gandasmita... The, the Gandasmita clan, with their expert understanding of forbidden knowledge, have found a way to retain these creatures as their bodyguards. Bully for you, son. Bully for you. Alright, back to ethereal silence. To Mount Doom we go. LV426. Oh, shit. Oh, it's knocked over my cocky cola. A loading screen. Finish access. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Power! I'm just being deposited in places now. A hole. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hang on. That's... Okay, that's a waterfall. Or a bloodfall, I think. Oh, I still have this. Hey, lad. Suck my Neron. One hit kill, surely, right? Nah. Oh, wait, maybe? Yeah, that's one hit. I see him behind me, but I got iframes now, bitch. Let's get you out the old-fashioned way, eh? I'm cleaving through them now. I'm liking this. Oh, one of the OGs, eh? I forgot there's a forward uh, attack for stun. The, these dreadlings look super creepy. I love them. This game has got stellar creature design, I have to say. Through the brap cloud I go. Oh, one of you fellas. Oh, there's spitters now? Oh, I'm not dealing with two of you. I'm retreating. I want to wait for the big guy to come forward. Yeah, here he comes. What this place is? Macabre. I, I think it might be a bit excessive on the gore stuff. That was taking forever, Jesus. But I do like it, I think. I like that it's embracing it and going full pelt. It's not grating. It's just... I think at this moment it's a very stark contrast to what we've seen before. Where it's mostly just run down areas. But it's different now. It feels very endgame. I just think... It's like the sound and stuff isn't really... Like, there's not enough weight behind it, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there should be more music or something. Or even just a better introduction cutscene to this bit. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, I stunned you. Right, I'm not going to go through that narrow bit. That guy leaping out of the thing scared me. Nice shot, dickhead. 
Oh, fuck you, you can't recharge that quickly. I can swing faster than you, though, porcupine. Pop goes the weasel. Oh, shit, hello. I guess I'll check this area around. This area looks alright. Cable was running down my leg and it was freaking me out. Why do I think that you would explode like the other ones? Why, why am I not just charging you? Why was the stun not going off there? Not sure if I'm supposed to be going here, but I might as well check out my old place. Cunt. That, there was no way I could get away from him. Fuck you. And your wanking tissues. I can't get over that rat from, from, from before. I just, I just got reminded of him. Oh, don't put me back at the start. Oh, you munter. Alright, I'll rush. I won't stop for flashes except for when absolutely necessary. I'm sorry about that, peeps. Oh, that felt pretty good. Different enemy release skins the last time. So these are definitely the physical versions of the dreadlings, as opposed to the ones we were. F uh, so, that, so I guess the ones that we were fighting before, the ghost ones in the mansion basement, were dreadlings. Okay, so you guys are definitely fixed spawns, and also you're cheap as shit, and I hate you. Oh yeah, I didn't think that. I didn't think that second one was going to hit. Dead. So I'm going to try doing that again, but I'm going to have a flashlight stun ready. Hello. You're a lot further away than you were last time. There he is. I think that might have just been my reflection, actually. I mean, I'm guessing I have to head towards that, which I would love to because it looks pretty fucking sick. Wait, is that a waterfall? It might not be. Let me let me see. One, two, three. Okay, so it's three seconds. I really should have learned that sooner. One, two, three. One, two, three. These guys really don't get stunned, do they? Go on, you fat blubber! I mean, the mood just feels like it's missing something. That felt like a flash. <laughs> you did not see me or hear me. Okay. Three, one, two, three. Flubbed it a bit, but it was worth it, I think. Not entirely sure what the point of coming through here is. Yeah. I guess it was just for funsies. I I approve of having a little explorable area. Dapper, it said on the wall. Some things going on here. <laughs> Is that racist? I don't think so. All these bodies. This can't. This can't be healthy. 
What are you? Oh, you're oh you're one of these guys. I remember you. I haven't seen you since the school chapter. Oh, so I can only get one hit off. Okay. Problem is, you just killed me. Oh no, you didn't. Problem is, I can't get away from you after I hit you quick enough. God, you are fucking awesome. I thought that was Alfonso. <laughs> Finally, nice. Dark Souls players love this game. You big smelly willy, I'll get you eventually. Bit by bit, prick by prick. There was a time when I was the only prick that was needed. Oh nice. Ooh, we didn't get Ghost Peter from them before. The... The Warden? Billy, what are you doing here? A corrupted version of the Pokong, the famous Indonesian shrouded ghost. The Warden is armed with a big scythe and a death bell, which is a... which will... which able to spot to... oh, fuck me. Which able to summon a swarm of dreadlings, which I haven't seen it do. Did it do that before? It might have done. When I first fought it. Was it the school, I think? You can. Something in the water. Oh, there's many in the water. But you're going out first, son. At least it's a force wing combo. Bang! We're almost there. Why is there a helicopter? Why are its rotors spinning? I had noticed that. You know, I was just passing it. Car. Not, one, not, not another one of Billy Pook. The Trelgus! It is time for us to have a duel! A duel where I make an inside joke that only me and a handful of people will understand the reference to. Yes! I thought I could go in for a backstab. Ouch. If I get stun locked, I'm gonna screech. Ooh, miraculously, I didn't get hit once. You are the target priority. If you can summon dreadlings, I don't want that happening. Although actually I will get rid of some of you. If I can help it. Crumbs. Tell you what, I'll, I'll thin them out because it's making it harder for me to get to them. Fuck! I'm not dead, am I? No, but I'm close. I did kill the other two as well. Damn it. Why am I not getting backstabs anymore? There we go. I think I was just a bit too far to the left each time. I did it again. He was not happy. There we go, yeah. Oh, that was a front? I'll take it. I just kind of figured the backstabs did more damage, so I've just been going for them. Plus, it's more safer. Safe, safer, uh, safest. Is this end game? This feels like end game. If I if I beat the game right now, I guess I won't complain. But it has been longer than the previous. Even if I barely understand what's going on. Is 
That big face. Oh, it's a big eyeball. Big old mononculus. Morasmus is here, perhaps. Did look pretty cool. Ha ha, by the way. Okay, that looks fucking freaky as. It's a boss fight, isn't it? Oh, it's that thing! Is this like... Do I want to look at it? It's an eye, so I'm wondering if I want to look at it or not. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know why I didn't try flashing it. This is a really cool enemy design. Let me try flashing you again. Didn't do anything. Oh, he spawned right here again. Ouch. I, I can't afford to stop. Okay, I hate these tendrils. I just have to rush them. What am I supposed to do against those? Is it me looking at him or not? I don't know. There is no way I can fight these guys and deal with the other things at once. Surely not. I just got mobbed. Maybe I do. Okay, maybe I was being a bit too hasty. Let's try again. And this time I will try and find a strategy to counter those fucking tendrils. We saw one of those way back in the school chapter. I think I can just dispel them with flashes. So I might as well just keep that on. Why aren't you teleporting anymore, Jesus? Okay, then he liked being stunned. I just want to make sure there wasn't an item there that I was missing or something. Okay, I was building up the flash. And not creepy pedophile Ezra Miller flash. I'm talking... E okay, okay. Fuck you then. Fuck off. That's really getting on my nerves. Fuck off. I, I can't. I can't. I can't get off a flash. I should have retreated. That's my bad. Okay. So, I go up to him and I flash. Not hit him, which I swear I was doing before. God, there's so many. I know what I said before, but fuck that. Okay, so I don't hit him. But I do hit him. Okay, I don't know why the flash didn't go off again. Oh, I hate these things. The boss should be so cool, but A, there's no music when I think they really, really could have benefited from it. Oh, I'm, I'm getting, I'm going to get mugged again. Yep, there's nothing I can do when that happens. But if I stop and engage these guys, the tendrils are going to get me, even if I keep using the flash. I, I, I guess I just try again and try going slower, properly slower this time. Sorry if this is annoying, but this is vexing me. Okay, so don't hit him. I swear that was working the first round. So I just keep flash stunning him? I wasn't sure if it would work, but I thought I'd try it. Fuck you! At least they're weak. I feel like there's a little something in the little bit of the, the eye. 
I like how it dilates as well. That's that's a cool touch. Am I doing it right? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to focus on the dreadlings again. I didn't manage to stun one of you. Fuck you. I hate the little combos they... Mm. It's the worst when they spawn behind me, you know? Okay, that was that was my fault for overcommitting to that combo when I knew I, would, I wasn't going to make that on reach. There we go. Alright. I'm, I'm playing it safe now. I just want to rush this boss because that felt like... Mm, that felt like the right thing to do. Where's the other one? There's always two. Yeah, there he is. Okay. You stink. Oh god. Tell me I get a ghost PD entry on this guy. Oh. A serpent, is it? That's curious. I just saw the serpent thing again, I swear. Oh! Holy shit! I need to get away from these tendrils. I don't... Yep, I'm dead. I'm surely dead. I'm gonna get... Yep, I'm mugged. Oh! Mate! Okay, that is the biggest thing I sense, I sense, I feel with some of, with this game's combat when it gets to more than a couple of people, or even cramped corridors. You can really easily get cornered and stun locked, and you can't get out. That's happened so many times. Okay, I don't have to. I don't have to do the fight again. I have to do this fight, obviously, but I was really scared I had to do the eye again. I want to watch. Does it go away for good? I don't think it does. It's not stopped by flashes, great. Which I'm gonna... Mm. out you've, you've been doing so great, why do you pull this shit now? I wasn't trying to go that way. I'm gonna get... I hate this. I unironically hate this now. Why, Dreadout? You were doing so good. It was a bit it was a bit boring in the mansion level, but there was dread, there was a lot of dread. I guess so it wasn't wholly boring and then this well this was combat focusing, it was going good until this boss fight. I wouldn't even be mad if you gave me a different arena. <laughs> Yes, I know there's a bunch of them right here. Okay. Eh. I'm doing the stupid noises now because I'm get. How do I engage the big slug? I mean, how? What, what What? do I do? I'm just going to go and swing and I don't care anymore. Yep, there I go. Getting bitten. The best I can do is stay here and get everyone in the stun lock and just tank her hits, you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, in the centre, they're sort of not around. Holy shit. Hello. Ah! No! I saw it coming. You know what this reminds me of? That bit in the Sandman with the snake lady. Oh, when a flashlight's on her, her intestines are all fucky-wucky. Don't even think about it. Yes! Uh-oh. Nice try! Get off. What was removed? Oh, she's got my fucking phone. No! <laughs> Great. Oh, I can't do any stuns anymore. And I've got a light. I didn't see you there. Ha! Get back, G-Man! Let go of me, you fucking membranous little creature. Alfonso, I need you! Oh, crumbs. Ooh. I can't move the camera. <laughs> Mrs. Heffley. Give it a rest, would you? Act seven? Ah, Miss Seffley. Oh. Blorong. You threw away all the gifts I've bestowed upon you. Ha! You're nothing more than prey. Now, prepare to die. Bob, Mrs. Heffley. <laughs> oh, wait. Such incredible power. So you killed? You must be asking yourself, eh? why would anyone do such terrible things? Since the beginning, we, mankind, have been nothing more than mere toys for the so-called greater powers. Collateral damage amidst their clashing. Just victims of their designs as the subtitles. They prey on our anxieties, guilt and fears. Force us to bow, take sides, and call them gods. All for the price of our true potential! The will to power in exchange for bondage, slavery, and false hope. So this is the thing that she had at the end of the first game, but now she's killing it. Yeah, I don't get it either, Linda. Student, she was always a bit of a gullard. Ouch. The point is, above all else, I want to rule this world. Of course you do, Mrs. Heffley. And if you choose to, you can rule a world of your very own. All you have to do is 
take my hand. Get fucked, Mrs. Heffley. Well, she took it well, at least. Jump scare. Huh. Okay. Whose hand was that? I mean, that was Linda's, but who was grabbing it? Oh! Of course, she's a spirit now. No, surely not! No, 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 no. Surely not. I didn't mean to skip the cutscene, I thought I was gonna... I thought I could back out. Surely not. <laughs> I fucking knew it. You're becoming more like me, Linda. Nice fucking try game. You must think I'm the devil herself. Holy fucking shit, dude. Taking all of you sweet innocent young lambs. Oh, that's her head. She's oh god. And leading you to the slaughter. Yeah. But you should be thanking me. After all, I know you're out there. This was lives without the guidance of a shepherd. Games of deception were never my true goal. I. I smelt treachery. Come out, demon! Show yourself! Come out! Come out from the shadows, demon! Come on! Come on! Come on! God, it's so dark! I will land another hit! By God! Hello, Thomas. It's impossible to gauge a pattern. Yes. Face me. Face me, Mrs. Heffley. Restore honor to your family name and die standing. Yes. Do not run from me! Thomas, if you step on the power button, I will flense you inside and out. Ouch. Yes! It knows about this bit of light. That's why it goes all fucky wucky when it's around here.
I can do a flash! Since when? Oh, in my hand! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Miss Jessica, you've seen better days. I'm sorry, Pete, because I didn't know I could flash again. I get the strategy now. I have to, I have to try and find her in the dark and draw her out with a well-timed stun. Not a chance. Not for a million mumbucks. Who's we, you stupid skank? I got her? No, I didn't. Oh, I... I got her. To some degree. I knew that... I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. The fucking army showing up. Oh, Thomas is loving it. The cleaning lady won't. What is that? So it's actually here. Okay. It was frighteningly abrupt, but shit, yeah, I'll take it. Thank you for playing. Hell no, there's gotta be. What, what, what time is it now? That was like five minutes ago. It's at the start of the fight, isn't it? Okay. Fuck. Load previous checkpoint. Can I do that again? Fuck. Okay. I wanted to show off the... Sure, there's going to be a fake ending. But fuck it. Okay. Shit. Alright. Well, let's get to the credits and do it for real. Dread out 2. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Um... I managed to ramp myself my, myself back up at the end there. That was very abrupt. Um, I have mixed feelings in the end, and not just because of that nosedive I took for that final annoying boss fight. I'm not even that mad about it in the end. There are problems. The combat isn't perfect. It's not so much lacking depth in so much that it is janky. It feels unpolished. The ability to get completely stunlocked is vile. I hated it. And, I don't know, the absence of certain abilities at certain points feels off. I don't really know why that is. But, uh, no, that was good. Story? So, okay, let me see if I'm getting it right, and I'm probably going to get it quite wrong. So, the first game ended with us dealing with the sisters... But then Miss Siska had, like, that snake-tailed baby, which I'm guessing is this thing here that we killed. The bo the Bolorong? The Blorong? I'm also noticing that I didn't fill my, um, my Ghostpedia, but whatever. Um, I mean, not whatever. I would like to do that, but, you know. And anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, fuck, what's it saying? So, yeah, um... So they mentioned that thing that the spirit realm was being upset... by Dark Linda's presence. So that's why we had the scenes in the school and the hospital. And then eventually in town. But where did Dark Linda come from? Was it like residual stuff built up from um, from the first game? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what that's all about. And then um, and then we were back on the trail of Miss Siska with the fortune teller who we 
you led us, you sent us to the hotel, and we never saw her again. I've just realised. So then we went there, and then we got. I forget. I forget what we even found there. We went there and we left. So then we went to find something about those Chimani eggs. Oh yeah, we we did see her after that. My my mistake. And then we got a bit of backstory for Linda, and then. Rest in peace, my G. Um, and then the big troll, he didn't come up again. And then there was that hag. And shit. And damn. Okay, and then... And then, uh... Sorry, I just realized I talked over through the whole credits. Um, it was They were quite short, though. So, then we just... Sh we were just taken to Miss Siska's house kind of out of nowhere after we dealt with the Palisic. So then we investigated. There were loads of dead cultists and ghosts. And then we got transported to a demon realm. We fought a Gendero. We beat it. And then we got to a place back in town or the city and then we fought a big eye which was like which had inside of it a cocoon for the Bolarong, who we then fought and we then killed. Oh no, we didn't, we didn't kill it. Miss Siska killed it. Even though I thought she raised it or something. And then we killed Miss Siska. And then we fought her fucked up, scary ghost form. And then we left. Miss Siska may or may not be dead. That was such an abrupt ending to that boss fight. I hadn't even known it happened for a second. Linda leaves, the city has been... Well, it seems okay, but... Jeez, I don't know, dude. It feels like, at some point... Just, they ran out of... They, they were realised they were running short of a deadline. And, like, from after the Palisic chapter on... They were just rushing through the story, you know? I don't know if I was missing it. I, m I might have been missing something, but... I just don't know. But... It was still fun. It was kind of cheesy. The total whiplash I kind of enjoyed. Um... Bits like the hospital were kind of cool. The school was kind of cool. The mansion was kind of slow. The hotel was kind of meh. The final bit was pretty good. I don't even even now recovering. I don't mind those boss fights so much. The last one w was quite cool, but it just ended so abruptly, and well, I'm just walking myself in circles. I think there's talk of a Dread Out three, and if there is and it comes out, I will play it. And I am going to go play Keepers of the Dark, at Keepers of the Dark, at some point. But I do have another game I want to play first. Um. So yeah, I didn't think I'd be done with this game so quickly, but uh. Okay. Alright. Well, if anyone has any questions about my opinion... I don't know why I'm not bringing this up. I never asked this before. But if anyone has any questions about my opinion on anything that I'm skipping over, uh, feel free to ask. Um, I do really appreciate comments. I'll take one comment over a hundred views, just if it means that I know that someone's engaging with this, with these videos. And yeah. It is what it is. But... I'm going to go watch Satan's Slaves 2, and hopefully it's good. And I hope you enjoyed this series, people. So, I have been your host, Teddy Gum Cancer, and whether this is the middle of an episode or the end, I hope to see you all in the next one. Ta-ta for now.